Hey, this be Ken Andrew Daily though. What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to slim and shorten the sleeves of a sweater. It's a really easy DIY so I recommend this to all the beginner sewers out there. And I know that sweater weather is coming around so you guys need to stock up on as much sweaters as you can. So you can turn all your oversized or thrifted sweaters into some sweaters that can fit you well and keep you warm during the winter or fall season. But anyways, putting all of that aside, let's get straight into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need a pair of scissors, any type of scissors will do, any size, any price, it does not matter. Next you're going to need a bunch of pins, just your standard old pins. Next you're going to need a seam ripper to rip the dreams of the seams of your sweater. And the last two things you're going to need is a fitted sweater and the sweater that you want to slim and shorten the sleeves of. First thing we're going to do is remove the cuffs at the end of the sleeve. Turn the sweater inside out and go to one of the sleeve cuffs. There should be a seam connecting the cuff to the sleeve. Get your seam ripper and remove the seams connecting the two. Eventually the cuff should come off. Here's how it should look after removing both cuffs. Next we're going to outline the new sleeves. Get your fitted sweater and place it right on top of the oversized sweater. You want to position it so the armhole seams match up. Then you want to flip the cuff over so we can get the exact sleeve length. Here's how it should be positioned before moving on. Now you want to use your pins to outline the new sleeve. Once you approach the armhole seam, you want to make it curve down to the armpit like this or else it will have a boxy feel to it. Next we are going to shorten the sleeves. Use this line of pins as a reference when cutting off the extra fabric. Get your pair of scissors and start cutting along the line of pins. After you're done cutting off all the extra length, you can remove the pins at the end. Next we are going to slim the sleeves. Using the remaining pin outline as a reference, do a zigzag stitch from the armpit seam to the end of the sleeve. If you're confused, here's a diagram of how you should stitch the sleeves. After you finish slimming the sleeves with a zigzag stitch, you can cut off any excess fabric below the new seam. Last thing to do is reattach the cuffs. Turn the sweater right side up and go to one of the sleeves. Grab one of the cuffs, it doesn't matter which one it was, it can be either one and turn it inside out. You're going to notice this seam on the inside of the cuff. We need to match the seam to the seam on the sleeve. Before we place the cuff over the sleeve, make sure the open side of the cuff is facing downwards. Now you want to bring the cuff over the end of the sleeve and match up the two seams. Once those are matched up, proceed to evenly distribute the cuff around the sleeve. Here's a quick look of how I pinned my sleeves. Now you want to do a zigzag or straight stitch along the end of the sleeve to keep the cuffs in place. Once you're done with all that, you can try on your new fitted sweater. Personally, I don't like super tight sleeves so that's why I kept mine a little baggy but as you can see the length is just right. Anyways, that's the tutorial. Hope you guys found it somewhat helpful. If you did, be sure to let me know. But anyways, this is Ken Andrew Daily and remember to keep it daily. Peace.